Hello guys, welcome back to my video. So today we're we doing a new tutorial, a Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Yes, Unreal Engine 5 just released. Uh, I've been waiting for this, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a sticky bomb projectiles. As you can see here, this is uh, how it looks in Unreal Engine 5. Everything's different, but uh, it's mostly the same actually. You can do this in Unreal Engine. Uh, Unreal Engine 4 actually, but uh, it's gonna be slightly different because in Unreal Engine 5 they separated the gun with the with the player, so now I have to pick it up and game froze. Okay, now I can and shoot like this. That's how it works. So now we can make this bullet stick to, to a surface, and then uh, you press right click to explode them all. Like shoot multiple ones on the ground, right click and they all explode. That's actually really simple to do. So basically, since now, now the player is separated from the gun, I'm just gonna open the gun because even the spawn projectile, uh, spawn projectile blueprints is stored inside the the gun, the rifle. As you can see here, it's all all labeled and commented. And here's on fire projectile. It's showing all the projectile stuff over here. And all the stuff is the 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 part where the, the player shoots is all stored here, and this part is just for picking up uh, the weapon. So if you go to this spawn active BP first person projectile, click on that, move this up there, and let me click again here. Now you see here this projectile over here. We need to go over the projectile movement and disable shoot bounce. Also, after we disable the uh, projectile movement, you go to class defaults. Now it's like small label over here. We go all the way down. There should be something over here. Yeah, the the everything got reorganized. Let me type in lifespan. Yes, you search lifespan. I don't know where this should be. Um, it's out of here. I didn't see it. Initial lifespan. The default is three. Let it let it be zero so that it stays forever. So now if I sh uh, take this gun and shoot, they all stick like this and stay like that forever. So now if we want it so that when we right click, all of the uh, projectile explodes. In the first person projectile here, we add a custom event and call this uh, explode projectile or Sticky bomb, sticky bomb better. Sticky bomb. We'll make a delay so that it feels more realistic. Uh, and we give it a random delay actually. Right, not this one. We do from the duration, we do random, float, and range. Yes. Let me give it like a range between 0.5 and 1.5, like something like that. So that the they don't explode all at the same time. You know, get what I mean? Um, basically, it's like a, a way to make it feel more realistic. So now, we do, after this delay, actually let me do this. Make a do once here, do once. Like that. After after all of this stuff, we destroy the actor, the, the first person projectile. Or actually, let me leave this for last. And then spawn actor from class. As you can see, if you have the starter content, you will have this explosion particle. Here, in the starter content, you will see uh, all this stuff over here. In the blueprint section, there is like a an explosion particle that uh, that comes with the with the, with the sound with the sound over here. There is the explosion effect and the audio. Yeah, all this stuff is still in Unreal Engine 4, but you can do this. You can do this in both Unreal Engine 5 and 4. I'm gonna do a begin play over here just to make it um, better because as you can see once the all the sound and the explosion particles happen um, the act is still there it won't get deleted so let me do a delay over here let me delay it for like five seconds and then destroy actor like that so we're back now at the first person projectile we attach this to the destroy actor Split this uh, transform thingy and do from the transform location get actor location. This gets the location of the the projectile or the sticky bomb. 
and the class is um, the explosion part the explosion blueprint we checked out earlier now we made this we give this a comment and call this uh, randomly explode sticky bomb and then the rifle I'm gonna do a custom event I'm gonna call this trigger uh, bombs this basically like um, triggers all these projectiles and make them explode yes that's basically how it works so we do get all actors of class and then we do projectile this first person projectile and then we do for each loop and then we trigger actually what what did you call that what did we call the thing over here explode sticky bomb so you here explode sticky bomb like that that's basically it for this part so as you can see here this uses um, the event dispatchers over here so let's let's do the same thing over there but first we need to open the actual player but as you can see in the starter content they use player start instead of uh, placing placing the character straight in the world so we have to look in, in the start content instead of having a shortcut so we need to go you need to click on the first person uh, folder and go to blueprints and here's the first person character they change the location slightly and here um, this one the primary action call on news item news item is basically uh, the event dispatcher which would uh, here bind event to on use item this the same thing which whenever when you click this this fires the gun is fired so let me make another thing over here and make another event dispatcher actually we do on use item on use item alt so basically right click so we do left I mean right mouse button right mouse button type here this is basically is for the input and over here we do the same thing we drag this use on use item alt and we do call yes this for exploding sticky bombs like this compile and save and in the, inside the rifle back inside the rifle we do the same thing over here we do bind not like that bind event uh, to on use item alt this one we do the same thing over the uh, over for this this part we do create event and then we select the this trigger bombs so we select the function and find trigger bombs it's over here and now this should work i think if i like grab all of these shoot them everywhere and i press right click this happens yeah this feels kind of slow because the explode sticky bomb i added like a huge delay let me fix that we do like something like this make it shorter and if i play i grab the gun shoot all over the place and right click yes that's how it, will, how it is um it's, I, I don't look at that having a delay so i'm gonna do this yes this seems better now. like this yes that's all there is for this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in the next video goodbye